Hello coders, this is Jared with Renaissance Coders, and in this video I'm going to cover the git pull command, the git fetch command, and the similarities and differences between the two commands. So this should be a relatively short video here. I'm just going to cover those commands fairly quickly so that way we have a reasonable understanding of the commands. So we're going to start with the git fetch command because it's a little easier to understand the differences if we start with the git fetch command. So the first question that we need to answer is what does the git fetch command actually do? Well, the git fetch command simply updates or pulls the updates from our remote tracking branches. And pulls is not really a great word there. Basically what we're doing is we are getting the updates that have been pushed to our remote branches to our local machine. Now we have not gone over branches yet, but that's coming up soon. Now a quick description of what a branch is couldn't hurt here. So basically a branch is a variation of our repository's main code. So remote tracking branches are branches that have been set up to push and pull from the remote repo. So I'm actually in a repository here, git ignore. Now if I write, if I type in git branch here, they can we, then we can see what branch I'm currently on, which is master. So this branch has been set up to push and pull to the remote repository on GitHub. So if I now do a git fetch, it is going to pull down the updates that have been pushed. Now I did have some updates that had been pushed recently, so now I have been able to get those. So you can see that my master is now in sync with the origin master. And origin here is basically standing for GitHub, where our remote repository lives. The git fetch command is a fairly safe command because it does not change our working copy of code locally. Okay, so that's going to do it for the git fetch command. Now let's move on to the git pull command. Again, the first question that we need to answer is... What exactly does the git pull command do? Well, the git pull command basically runs two commands in one. Initially, a git pull runs a git fetch and then a git merge. So this command is not quite as quote unquote safe as the git fetch command because the git pull will actually download the changes made to your, lo your current branch, updating the code within your repository. The merge command is where the actual updates to files come in. It is important to note that the merge does not merge a branch like dev into master. So if you have multiple branches, it's not going to like all of a sudden merge a whole bunch of branches together. But it rather merges our local repo with the remote repo with the remote changes taking precedence. The biggest risk that can occur when running the git pull command is getting changes in a remote file that we have been working in which may cause conflicts to arise in certain cases. Again, conflicts is something that we're going to cover in a later tutorial, but for now, just know that that issue can arise. Running the git pull command is again really easy. All we have to do is put in git pull and the command should run. So let's do that now. git pull. Now, when I ran that, you can see that it, even though I ran a git fetch earlier, I still pulled stuff down. So the git fetch is basically just checking and making sure that updates have occurred, and the git pull is actually merging that in with my current branch. And you can see the file that was pulled in, which is the readme.markdown, and you can see that it was a fast forward type of merge. And you can also see uh, the commit SHA and things like that. And finally, it tells us what happened, which is create mode, um, the file security settings, and the file that was actually created. So in conclusion, we have covered both the git pull and the git fetch command, and the biggest difference between the two is that git pull has a merge included in it, whereas the git fetch does not. Okay, that's going to conclude this tutorial. Hopefully you learned something new about git fetch and git pull. As always, thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe.